I want to show you something. Here, can you hold it? That's pretty insane that you can record that. having an amazing day and that you're ready for a new day of adventures that we're gonna be shooting in the coral reef if you're ready let's get some epic shots let's go whoa we are now going with the coral gardeners if you guys remember we came last year i'll tell you a little bit more about it but right now they just gave me a t-shirt before we go so let's change and let's get started we're gonna go straight onto the reef into the water it's gonna be so epic do you guys remember tituan from the episode what Tituan, what's oh, up, bro? Oh, cool, bro. Yeah. Tituan is a saver. Coral gardeners came to rescue. Going back. Let's, so let's go, go, guys. So where are we going, Tituan? First, I want to bring you to the place where Diano, my little brother Johanne, and I we discovered when we were 16 years old that the corals were dying. We went surfing and we arrived at the surf break. That was for me huh? the first time I saw all the white corals. I type on internet white coral, bleach coral. And I start realizing uh, two things. The first thing is the corals, they, they were dying and they were sculpting the great way we surf and giving us so much. Protect the island, the food, tourism, and more than a half of the oxygen we breathe comes from phytoplankton and all the ocean. I know there are millions of things you can be caring about right now, but please, if you have got any value out of this channel at least once in your life, consider adopting a coral to support the work coral gardeners are doing. You're gonna become the mom or the dad of one of those beautiful little creatures that's gonna grow in French Polynesia. They're gonna send you a photo of it and it will help those guys get enough money to continue their amazing work at protecting the environment, raising awareness around those issues and restoring the damaged reef. So please add up the coral and let's go check the surf shots. I think I might have crashed on the reef. Woo! All right, that was absolutely epic. I uh, got to surf a little bit and catch a few waves. I actually crashed on the reef really hard. I wanna show you something. Here, can you hold Hold it? Yeah, wow! Wow! Oh, hey, sorry. Like, hit the reef. Hey. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Not too bad? Signature from the reef. When you're surfing shallow like that, you gotta be careful. Alright guys, so we just made it to the plantation side. Nursery, sorry, that's where they kind of grow from baby corals to bigger corals and then they can replant them. I'll tell you everything and I link another video where I explain everything. But we're gonna go in and we're gonna plant some coral. Yeah, this past couple years we planted over 14,000 coral with the team every day in the water. And uh, that's our nursery side and you will see also some couple coral that we planted yeah, this past couple years. And the plan right now is to go visit the nursery and then we head back to our first nursery right in front of my house where Chelsea planted her first coral three years ago and we'll plant some more. It's on.
believe that. Ready? Go. <laughs> wow. What a crazy day. I'm backing up everything right now. So we've got, what, 75% done. And it might not be over because we might shoot at night actually in the water. So some night dive stuff. <laughs> Milky Way is so bright tonight. I'm gonna pretend it's by a limited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <coughs> That's pretty insane that you can record that. Here's the truth, that was a huge fail because I put the wrong camera in the housing. I put the A7R 3 when I was supposed to put the A7S 3 to really get good night shots, low light capability and I messed up. So I couldn't get the moon shots that I wanted. You see ISO 32000 on the A7R 3 looks like pure garbage. We can't do anything with that image. But on the A7S 3 it would have been possible because I got the opportunity to shoot after the Milky Way handheld film it literally from a boat while recording video and it's just mind-blowing to think it's possible look then i took those photos one and one fifth of a second iso 200,000, and it looks fairly decent for that iso and i even shot that on the beach handheld at one fifth of a second i didn't use a tripod iso 200,000. that one was at iso 25,600, and it looks decent if you look at the image and this is 51,000 ISO, this is 51,000 ISO also, and I mean, look at that! That's just incredible to imagine what we can do nowadays with photos and the capabilities that we're gonna have in the next years to shoot. Look, one fifth of a second ISO 80,000 and it looks good. It looks decent enough to be published on social media. I can even print it, it's gonna look decent. It's just insane. That said, I gotta go to bed. We've got an early morning tomorrow. I want you to join the next episode. So please make sure you hit that notification bell. Get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Love you all.